Good morning. It's Friday, April 10th. It's snowing. It's time for the weekly garden update. As you can see, it snowed. I thank God and God for the snow because it's actually going to protect the plants. I came down here in the dark last night and double covered these with fleece to protect them a little bit more, but I'm really glad to see the snow. Let's see what the low temperature was last night. The low got down to 32. Right now it's 34 degrees. Um, but all I have to show you here, but let's go inside and I'll show you uh, the starts I got going and some of the work that I need to do on my tomato plants. We're back inside now. It's a little bit warmer. I want to show you around what we have. I'm going to show you the starts that I have going, some of the seedlings that are going, and actually some of the microgreens that I've got growing. This is the grow table that's in front of the window, so I had to close the blinds because of the brightness off the snow. But what I got going here are some sunflowers, a couple of radishes, the, I forget what they're called, the French breakfast radishes that are longer with the red and the white tip, and then these are the valentines, which are all multiple multi-colored radishes. This was a tomato plant that I had growing that was supposed to be used for a demonstration, but that's starting to bloom at the top. I don't know if you can see at the top. It's starting to bloom at the top. Need some fertilizer. That's pretty much junk. Got some onions, New York early onions for uh, bulb onions. This new planting right here is um, Scarlet Frills Mustard. This is uh, Dinosaur Kale. And this is some pak choy. And then I think you've seen these before. Over here we've got uh, charred beet greens, uh, beets, yellow beets, and beets for beet greens. Another bunch of spinach growing up, some more green onions growing up, and again, some more rainbow chard. I love to get those radishes out, but as you saw today, it's snowing and it's actually going to be cold for another week. So they're going to have to live. Now let me switch you on over to the uh, other tray here and we'll take a look. So on the bottom we got some pepper seedlings that are still in the double cut method is still growing at the top and I'll show you a close up are some tomato seedlings that have uh, germinated and I, now I need to add some more soil to them and then under the towel what I have is a microgreen I don't know if I want to say experiment, but I'm trying to grow, whoa, look at that. I'm trying to grow some microgreens for a salad mix. So I need to figure out how soon they grow, germinate, um, so that I have a good growth. And this is a Scarlet Frills that's ready for the light. And then I grew it also. That was with weight on it. And then this one is under the dome to see which is better. You see they both are working pretty well. And then I got a whole bunch of different things for the mix. We got blue kale. We've got um, red garnet mustards. We've got uh, Japanese spinach, red cabbage, cauliflower, more mustards, wasabi mustards, kohlrabi, red cabbage. And you see they're all germinated pretty well. I've got to go through that a little bit. Here's a close-up of the microgreens experiment. And then I want to show you these tomatoes up here um, for the double cup method. You see these are tomato seedlings that are growing and you see that the soil level in the cup is low. And that's because as the seedlings grow up, I actually add soil around the stem so the whole stem roots. And then it'll be just like the one you saw on the upper table. So I'll add some soil underneath Right up to those cotyledons, those, that stem will root, that plant will continue to grow up. I'll add more soil until the soil level gets up near the top. That way I have more rooting stem um, ready to transplant. Again, these are a double cup. This is an indigo rose. So this is a double cup method. So basically there's slots. If you can see them in here. There's slots on the bottom of this cup. I put water in the bottom cup and you just set that in and you basically are bottom watering the tomatoes stops the disease issues so you see i got quite a few tomatoes started and i actually have some more seeds to plant so i got one more shelf to show you this is just um, one of my racks i got another whole rack that's got some microgreens that are in the blackout period but you can see i've got some microgreens growing for next week i've got a tray of lettuce up there 
that I'm eating off of. And then down below here, let me zoom in. Down here I have some more, uh, the middle tray is different types of lettuces. I got some more beets and golden beets growing and then some more lettuces on the right tray. The left tray is some more chard, some more onions and a bunch of odds and ends that I've got growing just to fill the tray. Today I need to plant some more lettuce. I need to get some more lettuce seeds growing. I got two new varieties in, so I wanna get those growing. So really that's all I really have to show you today for the garden update. I mean, it's snowing out, there's not much we can do. Uh, let me take you uh, a little bit closer. What's going on? Oh, I got some lettuce dripping down on that. That's the problem. Here, let me show you. I was wondering what that was. It was just lettuce from up above that <clears throat> dripped off down on top of the microgreens. That's the problem I have in shelf liners. <clears throat> so you can see there's a tray of lettuce that I'm eating off of. Some red rambo radishes that are for sale. Some basil. I'm going to experiment with some pea sprouts that I do not like. I'm going to go right back to soil. This is some kale from last Thursday or this Thursday that didn't sell. I'll be eating that. And down here we got some kale and broccoli. Here's some broccoli. And then here's a close up of the sets. They're growing, that's the lettuces. And then some more seedlings. Well, that's it for the update this week. Obviously, with the snow, there's not much I can do. Just got some seedlings growing. Just keep carrying those on until I can get them in the ground, and then I'll plant some more so that we can keep the garden rotated. Every time something is uh, sold, cut, used, we'll put a new plant in. So I just want to keep the seedlings going. They're relatively inexpensive to grow. So why not have them ready if I get the space? Um, the county, due to the pandemic that's going on, the county has closed the compost area. So. I wanted to put another two uh, four by 24 foot beds in, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll try to get some compost. I don't really don't want to plant in that ground. It's just not gonna, I just don't think it'll do well. So I really need to get some compost or some straw or something to grow in, but I'll figure it out. There's not much I can do. So just carry on with what I have. That's all any of us can do. Just do what you can do. Just plant, keep those plants going, and we'll see you next week.